Good morning, everyone. I'm Susan Buto, and I have been making our church stained glass windows into black and white printables and also coloring in them. And I do this using the app called Procreate. So you can see in front of you, the app is Procreate. I have it up here. The app is about 10 bucks in um, the Apple Store. I'm assuming it's an Android app. You'll have to check that yourself. Um, the app is used with an iPad and an iPad pencil. Uh, those are the two things that are required, the three things that are required, iPad, iPad pencil, and Procreate app. You need those to do my technique. You can uh, figure this out on your own. Somebody said they were gonna use uh, some different programs to try and do this themselves, great. Please go for it and figure it out. But a lot of you have been asking how I've been doing it. So I'm making this little video for you to see. And I'm not able to give you 100% instructions on using your iPad or the app, everything about it. I'm just giving you the general um, ways that I've been doing it. And you'll on your own have to practice doing it and getting comfortable with the app using whichever different brushes, colors, however you want. So this is just a very basic uh, way of making the uh, stained glass window. The first thing you need to do is when you have the Procreate app, you need to get a picture from your um, computer of the um, artwork that you want to copy. You can kind of see some of mine here. Uh, at another time, I'd be glad to go through them so you can look at the ones that I've done. We do offer all the printables on our um, church Facebook page, Zion McHenry, Zion Lutheran Church McHenry. And we will be uh, putting those on one page on our website so they're easy to get to. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, I need this little box over here. Okay, I clicked on the plus sign. Um, you can select your paper size, which I always just do in half by 11. And bear with me, I keep trying to touch my computer screen, but I need to touch my iPad. This is really weird. Okay, so you have a blank sheet of paper and you will need to get your photo. from your computer. Sometimes it takes a minute and sometimes it doesn't have to play nice. So I have to shut down my app and do it again. The app is that little um, curly thing, a little swig with different colors. All right, so I'm gonna to go to my photos. I'm gonna to go to the stained glass window that I want to work on and I clicked on it. So now it's here on the screen, the iPad screen. And I'm gonna click off on the little direction. I need to make my sheet, the white sheet, smaller. So up here on the corner, you see, on the right-hand corner, you see that green dot, and you see those two sheets of paper. Those are called layers. I need to click on that to get to my background, which I'm not even gonna need really for this, but there is a sheet in it called background. I need to move, make the sizes different, so. I had to adjust that sign. You see where the blue dots um, light up, watch, watch my screen. That's where I am. Whenever you see it go blue, those are the screens that I'm on. Okay, I'm going to pinch with my two fingers and make the background sheet smaller, the layer. And then I'm gonna pinch the arrow or touch the arrow 
bring my artwork over and you can use your finger for this. You can also use your pencil um, at this point. I, it depends on what I have in my hand. You need to get your um, item to fit your sheet. Sometimes it gets wonky. The first one that you make is the most difficult. Because you need to make a template. Make sure that's being weird. Okay, sometimes it's weird. You have to start it over. I'm not giving you much confidence here, but you have to start this over again, but sometimes you have to, it's just the way the app is. Get the photo. I really, this is just my sixth window, seventh window that I've made. When I first started doing this, I wasn't doing it thinking I needed to teach anybody to do it. So please just watch this bear with me and um, learn what you can. So I'm just trying to fit the window on the sheet of paper, which again is eight and a half by 11. You can, like I said, you can do whatever you want, whatever size your windows are, but you can kind of see how I'm using the tool where it says uniform and trying to fit it on the sheet of paper. Again, the first one is the most difficult in my opinion. Um, I learned the hard way to make a template of the stained glass window since it's the same window and all of our, um, all of our church windows are exactly the same format. Um, so it took me at least the third window to catch on it'll save you a lot of time instead of having to draw all the basic lines. Now I drew all the basic lines. I have a template that I just go and do the center because the center is what's different on all the windows and the lettering. Okay, so I have it right now on my screen. You see the extra on the right and left. That's dark. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to watch up at the top. You'll see me click the green or the little square. I'm going to click the plus sign to create a new layer. And I'm gonna go back down to where it says layer one and touch the little N and opacity where, and I'm gonna make this lighter. So I'm lightening up, see the arrow? Can go, that is so I can draw the lines and see what I'm doing. So I uh, make that clear, make that a lot lighter and then click off on that by going to layer two. Layer two now is on top of the stained glass window. Why is that important? Because you're going to remove the stained glass let, uh, window and you only want the layer where you can see the design. So let me show you. So if I go click back down on layer one, if I click off on this little white box where the N is, watch the stained glass window disappear. So the top layer here where it says layer two, that's what I'm gonna be drawing. And when you're first starting, sometimes you can, um, you can name your layers to help you. So this layer I could rename and put window. So I know that that, that layer is the window layer. The next layer up above, I can put, rename it to black and white. Okay, so that's the layer that we need to be working on. That's see for the blue, see the, both windows have the check mark, which we don't need um, the background. So don't even, it doesn't matter that that's there or not, but you will have the check mark shows you what layers you have working. If I remove the check mark again, it's gone. You have to check it to have it on there. Okay, um, but we're now where it's blue, that's the one, that's the layer we're working on. And I'm gonna pinch it to increase the size of this. Going over to the wrench, I'm going to click canvas. You'll see the blue thing light up, blue canvas. I'm gonna click on drawing guide. That again turns blue. I'm gonna click on edit drawing guide. I don't need the grids for this particular project, but what I'm clicking on is the bottom where it says assisted drawing. I'm clicking on that. 
that will help us make really beautiful straight lines. So that's what I'm doing, okay? The grid lines aren't really needed, but they're on. I just have them on right now, but they can be taken off. Done. And then what I'm gonna do is, the really cool thing about stained glass windows, at least ours, is a lot of um, straight lines. So the assist will help me make a straight line. My hands are very shaky. So we'll, a good example will show you to start on the, um, oh, also see the circle, the green circle, if you touch that, um, all my lines are black to start with. I guess I need, I need to tell you guys all this too. You can make, all the colors are in this color wheel, every color you can imagine. I have made a little um, palette for myself. These are most of the colors almost always that I use in all my stained glass windows. So I made my own color palette, so it's real easy to get to the windows, get to the colors that I use. Um, you'll click on the one that you want, like black is the one I'm gonna use right now, so I just clicked on it. Um, and you see the circle up at the top went from green to black. Um, so then I told you I have a color palette and that's my default because that's what I use the most on this. Again, that's something you can learn as you play with. I want to go over to this paintbrush up at the top, the turn blue. I have made um, my three favorite, br four favorite brushes that I use for stained glass only. I put them all here together. These are the four that I use. You can see them on there. Okay. Um, to do the uh, basic outline of the stained glass window, I used a model line one. So I clicked on it. I'm going to click off. The blue is on by the paintbrush to tell you that I'm going to be drawing. Over here on the left, watch the left screen. You see that moving? That's your brush size. And you'll have to play with that to figure out what brush size you want. I have not created my own black and white in a while, so I can't remember what brush I used, but you need to play with it. And the funny thing is, the first window took me forever, the first three. But once you, like you said, once you do this first part, it will go easy, like once you make your own template. So for example, I'm gonna try this out. Oh yeah, I like that. So, but that's not where I want it. So you see where we just adjusted our brush size, you go all the way down to see that reverse and that'll take that off. Okay, so again, I have my pencil whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to make the outline of this thing glass window. I'm just going to make a straight line. As you can see, it's not straight, but if you hold down and don't lift up your pencil, the assisted drawing helped me straighten out the line. Now you lift your pencil up and do the same on the next side. Whoop. You get those little dots, you just use the reverse arrow and take care of it. I'll draw another line. And my assisted drawing is helping me, and you just get it as straight as you want. You can have those grids on, and you can make them smaller. You can make the color darker. You can kind of see on there how it's like a light green. I'm not using them, but again, it might be something you want to do. So I got that done. I am now going to do the bottom. And you can use your two fingers to move this around. You can't see me doing it. You can't see me using the pencil, but I am. So you can move this around. And you're gonna connect, I'm gonna connect the two bottom lines, the bottom lines, make sure it's straight. Da -da, got it. And go up to the top. And again, I don't know how your stained glass windows are, so maybe you don't have a black border. I don't like how I did that, so I'm gonna erase it and go back. That line is actually straight. Okay. All right. There you go. So once I have my rectangle, because this is the shape of our window, I also know that we have a black border and you can increase this with your fingers. See, I'm doing that. And you can see this black border and I'm gonna draw a line. I like to make one continuous line, but when I first started doing it, I didn't feel comfortable doing it. So I had to just make a part of line that one. So I'll kind of show you. So if you can see where the window and this line that I'm drawing, that's the black line that's around the stained glass window. I'm gonna have it, then I can lift up. Like I said, I'd like to make this all one line, but just to show you, um, 
I need to stop. Okay, so I'm going to keep going down and use my assist. This is great for your straight lines. Know that your first window, first few windows that you make, you will not, you'll probably be erasing a lot. Like right here, I'm going to circle what I did. See how you join the two together? Ooh, the assist isn't going to let me do it. See right here where I join the two lines together? I don't like that, how it's overlapped. So um, that's why I draw one continuous line. I didn't do it for the sake of showing you guys um, this. Over here, I can do the one continuous line and then you can see what I mean. So I'm, ooh, don't like that. So I'm adding the border, which is just black and I don't like that either. There we go, a little better. Let's see if I can fix it when I, there we go. Just don't let go of your pencil, you can fix it. Finish the bottom border. Go back up to the top, do the top border. Apparently, there's no top border on here. So I needed to adjust it a little bit more. Again, I'm just showing you the general way of doing it. Um, but at the top, if you see, I'm gonna draw this line here. That's actually part of the stained glass window. So I don't have a little extra black border. So I will want to make sure, um, since I'm so into this just starting, I would probably erase and readjust the original stained glass window, but I'm not gonna do that for right now. But I would do that um, if I was making it for myself. Okay, in the middle or like the bottom third of our window, we have a black border. It's actually, um, it separates this top window with the bottom part where the verse is. So for the sake of my printable, I went ahead and just made that all the way across. And it will be the, a black border that um, we can color in, or they can color in, or somebody can color in. All right, so there we go on that. And then the fun part is start doing your straight lines. So there you go on this one. You have to, I stop because it is no longer straight until it gets to be about here. You will have to take off your drawing assist when you want to make lines that are curved. The drawing assist is just for the straight lines. And I just start doing them. However, you can have a system down. You can um, start and stop wherever you want. Okay, so basically that's what I'm doing. I'm building it. You can turn your iPad. I don't know if it's gonna turn for you on the screen, it probably won't. But I turn it so I can work this way with the straight lines. Okay, I don't like how that one turned out, so I reversed it and do my straight lines. See how it helps you do it? And then I stop there. going. I'm not going to do this whole window because that would take too long today. I'm just giving you the details. So then let's say I've got all my straight lines done. You can practice with it too. See like it's not going to let me go diagonal. See I'm, I'm trying to try and get the diagonal. You cannot. You'll have to turn off the drawing assist. So I'm going to show you that right now. Um, well first you can increase the size of your middle once you get all your lines done. And you're not going to do the, this part here. Okay, I'm doing that so you can see. You're not gonna do that part because you're going to first make a basic template. If all your windows are the same in your church, you want to make this basic black and white template. So then you can go through and add in, um, add in. So if you see there's a little black dot here, up at the corner, I clicked the blue eraser. I'm going to erase that black dot. Somehow I got it on there and I wanted to get rid of it. So I clicked back to the paintbrush. I'm going to go back over to the wrench. You see, I lit that up. I'm going to turn off um, drawing assist. See that the blue over there? Turned it off. Done. 
And now, for example, without it, I can make curvy lines. The drawing assist helps you make those perfectly crisp straight lines, which are perfect for stained glass windows. But the challenge is then we do have curvy lines. So to do the curvy lines, I increase it with my two finger pinch as much as I can. And then I start joining lines together. So there we go. If you hold on to that before lifting up, did you see how that straightened out? I'll replay that. See? So watch. I'm going to make my curvy. If you keep, keep it on there, it'll straighten out for you. And I use that a lot. And here's another one. You can keep going or you can stop, whatever is comfortable for you. Um, here's some, another one we'll show you down here. If you keep your pen to your iPad, I really don't like how I didn't get an arch, enough arch on that one. So I'm going to erase it and try it again. And see how my lines aren't perfect, but then the iPad Procreate app will help you. Uh, same with these. Right, and you can practice and take more. I'm just showing you little parts instead of trying to do the whole window. Um, this little guy over here. Now, see, you could do a straight line with that diamond, but on ours, it's not quite straight. It kind of dips in a little bit, so I don't have a straight line on it. Instead, I kind of freeform drew it like that and then stopped. Okay, and I would clean it up and straighten it up. So then you just kind of keep joining. Okay, so the cool thing is when this is all done, that will be your template that you, if you're happy with it, you can use that to make all your stained glass windows. If your windows are all the same, which I'm assuming most stained glass windows, if there's a bunch of them, they're uniform. If not, you'll just have to create this black and white every time. If I go watch up at the top right, if I click on the double sheets of paper, and if I remove the, uh, by the end, if I lift off the check mark, the window is gone. If I had everything traced, this would be a beautiful black and white printable. From there, that's what you wanna save to your computer. And then that's the template that you'll bring on every time. Um, to do your center part, which is different. For my windows, maybe something else is different for yours. I'm gonna click it back on just for right now. Oh, and also I wanna show you this first. Uh, let's see. If you click back up at the wrench well, that I just did, um, if you click video, the little arrow, see how I did it? You can see the work that you've already done. So here's what, I, what we already did. Hit the time-lapse replay. You can see that was four seconds. You know we spent a lot more time than four seconds. But the video shows you every little mark you've made. And it looks actually pretty good right now. I'm very happy with how it looks. Um, I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna go back to the layers, which are the two double sheets of square paper. I'm gonna click back on the window. So once you have your template done, there's then the next part would be saving it and then starting with a fresh template to draw your center, or draw whatever's different on each window. So let's pretend that this is a full template and you wanna start doing your, your window. To do your window, if you bring in, let's just say this is the black and white is all done and your window will come in and it will need to be underneath. See, you can move these layers around. When it comes in, when you, Load it on, the window will be on top, and you don't want it to be on top. You want it to be underneath what you're going to be drawing. Okay, so let's say that we're already doing that. I'm showing you the quick version right now. I will be glad to do this, break this up, and go into more detail. But for now, for those who will want to practice and keep going, this is for you. Clicking off, now you're going to start tracing. Let's just say though that on the black and white, this was already done too. Is this out part, this part here, I'm doing it quick. So it's, don't uh, think that this is how it's supposed to look. I'm just doing a quick draw of it on my black and white. This was on every one of our windows, this border. 
I love it because it's red. It's so beautiful. It's on every single one of our windows. So I always, this will already be done. I will line up the window, the colorful window with um, this printable the best you can. You line it up oop, and you line it up with this arrow like before I showed you. Then I'm focusing on the stained glass and you're just using you, your lines to draw. The big bold, I don't know if you can tell in there, I think you can, there are big bold lines. These big bold lines, I pretty much keep the same monoline brush. I might make it a little smaller, but not too much. So I do the big bold lines. And again, you can straighten these out some. Um, I ended up doing this kind of quick. Okay. So all the big bold lines I'm doing right now of the stained glass window. And you're going to understand why I'm telling you this in just a second. I have found that the less detail you put on the stained glass window, the better. Um, it took me a couple windows to get that and figure it out. You're not going to be able to include all the details for um, your black and white. People will just have to do that on their own when they're coloring. Too many details are just, it's, it's too cluttery and printables aren't usually that way. But again, maybe it works for you and your windows. I'm just doing a quick outline here. I would definitely be taking my time and I will be working on this one later um, for one of ours. So I will have a better, I, you'll have a better picture of it, but right now I'm just doing quick. I want you to see the big, big fat bold lines. Okay. And once I get those done and I have them done here on this top part, Yeah, again, I will go really slow and more deliberate when I'm doing it for our actual window. Okay, that is, you want the big bold lines done like that. Then what I learned was click on the brush and I have two favorite brushes and there are lots of brushes in the Procreate app. So you're gonna have to find what works best for you. Uh, there are two brushes there, the pencil, two different pencils. They're all called brushes, but it, some of the names are called pencils. Uh, I just decide with each window which one of these two I want to use. So I'll try the top one, see how it's blue. That's the color. Um, I'm going to click off and see if that's the lines that I want. And depending on how hard you push on your pencil, you'll get darker lines. So I'm going to erase that. I just did that to test. I'm going to bring my brush up a little bigger. And that's the look I want. So you can mark your um, brush percents down like this says 17, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, wherever you want to be in there. You can mark it down and start keeping track of what brushes you used. So it'll be easier to go back and um, do your windows. So now that I would have all the darker lines done, then I take my lighter pencil and you can see lines that are lighter. So for example, this long line of the stained glass window goes all the way across. I'm going to put that on. I think that's the only one of that. So see how it's a little different and it's good. It, that's the way I like doing it. Again, you don't have to do every line. Then I'm going to start with my pencil and do the lines that I want to add in. Um, this is a wooden, the cross, so you can kind of add some marks. I will tell you, you might not want to do all the fine details, but again, for you, you might want to. You'll have to play with this and get what you want for your church. This line I'm making a little darker. Again, I'm going quick. I would be going a little slower for my own use. Okay, this you can easily trace. Now there's the nail. I would increase the size of my um, sheet by the two pinch so I can trace the nail. 
Obviously my black line is over the nail and it's not supposed to be, so I would just make my nail a little lower. Like that. There you go, see? And then when you bring it out, it looks fine. You can adjust it again, however you want. When I come in to do the details of hands and faces, I do increase it. And I do try and get a general, um, try and get the body parts right. It was very difficult when I first started doing this until I learned about the different brushes and how you can do that. So these are my tips that I'm sharing with you. Here's Jesus' wrist, the nail that's in there, his arm. And when you pull it out, it looks great. Okay, and then you can add a little bit of detail if you want, but just be careful not adding too much. It's totally up to you. Um, when you get to his face and the face of others, I do like to increase it. And I'm gonna kind of, I always like to do an outline first, but you can do whatever you want. And this is his hair, so it's not perfect. It's, it is wiggly, crown of thorns. And if I'm too close to the black line, I just short, small it, make it a little smaller. So then I go through and trace. Again, do some general detail. Okay. The space, I just kind of go through and do the general lines. You'll have to play with it. You might want to be a little bit more artistic or not. It's up to you. How many lines you want on your stained glass window for people to color. So when you bring that out, look how nice that looks. But you really have to pull it in so you can kind of get some details. I, I would fix that definitely. I don't like how that turned out, so I'm going to erase it. Look at his abs, six pack right there. So anyhow, you just keep playing with it. You do like the background here, I really wouldn't add any lines. I'm gonna use that when I do the coloring. But go ahead and just do your general drawing. And you go back up to that black circle and you can pick what colors you want. Just when you get everything done, you wanna start coloring in. When it comes to the um, window part, I used to do each window separately, but then as I got going, I realized there's so much blue, so much yellow, green, whatever colors are in your window. I started to um, do all the blues and then I added in greens and whites and pinks. And then you'll, I'll show you what I mean. So I use the brush blotchy. Did you see how it has variation in the um, coloring? I like that a lot for my stained glass windows. Um, right now, when I, because I've been doing it a lot, I pretty much leave it about like this when I start to color in. Each stained glass window is different. So um, not every piece is the same on any of the windows. So I, can, I actually do the coloring different for every window. I'll change the color. Let's grab um, blue, one of these blues, and wherever I think it is, I'll just kind of start adding. Now, when I first started with the windows, the first couple, I left the color behind it, but it wasn't helpful for me. I felt like I couldn't really get the right colors. So to color, I took off the um, stained glass window and instead, I used the uh, photo of the window. I look at it on my phone. Or you can have it printed off, whatever works for you. So I just go to my photos on my phone, wherever you have them. Maybe you'll have it printed off. Uh, everybody's different and what they want to do with that. So let's pull up this window. Okay. So I have the window. I'm not going to screen share it because 
that's a little too much. So there's the window on my phone. I basically just have my window open, my phone open, and I start coloring. And all these sections will be sectioned off with the black. But I just start deciding where I want the colors. So I'll go and do like all the blue. And I'll do some of these blues, some of this blue is in here, but it also has different colors of blues. I just kind of start marking. And then I'll switch my brush to whatever color I see next. I see some greens in, up here. Green. This is what this brush blotchy looks like. Watch. I love it because you can layer so many colors. So watch when I bring it across the screen. See how the colors are varied? Now if I go back over that, it gets darker. Back and forth. So it really, I pretty for stained glass window. I think it's spot on the right brush for my project for what I'm doing and maybe you guys will like that brush too. So we also have um, some pink. A little bit of pink is in this top part of this window. So I'm gonna add a little bit of pink. Any bits here and there, purple, which you can just kind of add pink on blue. Then let's just say I got all that colored in. I'm going to use the brush. If you look up here on the screen, the finger, the finger of God, right? The finger is awesome because it will smear these colors together. I have to tell you, by doing these stained glass windows, it has helped me focus right now during our time. Um, it's like my own way of having visual faith, praying, um, thinking on the word, thinking of this picture that I'm designing and that the pe that my friends um, like you or our church members can color and the ch children of our church can color. Um, so I think about all that while I'm making these windows. It's, it takes me a while to do it and you'll see when you start doing it, it's a big project. Just take your time and don't get frustrated. So anyhow, take your little finger and I use my brush for this. Um, all this I'm pretty much using the pencil. And you just start smearing your colors around. And it'll be a matter of you playing with it to figure out how much blue, how much you need in your window. And you just pretty much try and stay in the lines. You can go through and um, correct your mistakes and stuff later. You've seen some of my videos. I'm assuming by now of how I colored them. This again was a quick job, just so you can kind of see how I'm smearing around. Let's just say that you did that, but you need more pink. So then you would click off that smear finger and go back to your paintbrush and add in more pink. Then go back to your smear and then smear in more, okay? So you can kind of just push and pull and move the brush around however you want. When you're done, with the black and white, when you're done tracing it and you're done with the image, please save that. Okay, totally save it to your computer, then do your coloring and then save that. So you have, so you'll be able to print off your black and white for your people and then you'll be able to print off the colored one. You might not even wanna color them on your uh, Procreate app. Maybe you don't wanna color, you just wanna get the black and white versions of all your stained glass windows for and get that done and then go back and color. You can do it however you want. This is just the basic um, outline using iPad, iPad Pencil, uh, Procreate app on making your church stained glass windows. Very basic, it was kind of quick, even though I know this took like half hour or so, um, but please watch it and then ask me questions. Uh, specific things you want to know but really basically you need to just get this app get your iPad get your pencil play around with it watch this video while you're doing it and don't get too frustrated with yourself there's a lot I've had to learn as I um, go along um, just last week when I made one I learned something totally new that I like was doing it the long way so I can give you shortcuts and tips and I can do this once a week or couple times a week I can video and maybe do a full window. But let's, before I go away on this one, click back, I'm gonna click back on the wrench and let's click the blue video. It's not showing up on the screen. Wrench. Oh, so let's see if it's gonna show you the video of us doing this.
Well, I don't know why it's not showing you guys. But anyhow, uh, you can watch our other videos and I can do it again later. All right, and I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.